Hey, good morning everyone. Friday morning, 29th of May, 2020. The end of another week. For us here in South Africa, it's a day closer to the end of level 4 of the lockdown and a day closer to level 3 of the lockdown, which gives us more opportunity to move around, to exercise and to conduct business. But all of this requires courage. And the other day, I spoke about courage, about the little red train. Remember the one that went chuff, 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 chuff up the hill, saying, I think I can, I think I can. And when he got to the top, he said, I knew I could. But here's another take on courage. Courage can be in the small choices that we make each day in doing something despite being afraid of it. Many times we save courage for what we call the big things. We don't get courage for the big things until we have applied courage to the small things. I often ask people in church, how do you eat an elephant? Well, it's quite easy. You eat it one bite at a time. But the tendency for us is to try and gather up as much courage as possible for the big things when we could quite easily be taking bite-sized pieces and one step at a time to build up our courage. The story of David and Goliath in 1 Samuel chapter 17 comes to mind where we've got David, a small man, and Goliath, the big boy. And we all know that story. But here's the question. What gave David the courage to take on the big boy? Very simple. If we read the story earlier on in 1 Samuel, we find that David said that he was out in the field watching the sheep, and he killed a bear, and he killed a lion. And as an afterthought, he thinks, well, bring on the big boy. Well, I can tell you one thing. If I came across a bear or a lion in the field, I would turn around and run as fast as I could. But you see, David had courage. He had to have courage to f fight the bear and the lion. He had to have this courage to do those before he could have enough courage to take on the big boy. So, just take on the small stuff every day. Be courageous in the daily stuff. And soon, soon, you will have enough courage to handle that big boy in your life. My dear friends, may the Lord be with you, may he bless you, may he cause his face to shine upon you, and be with you always. And remember, be courageous at all times. Courage is like walk, learning to walk, baby steps. And when you do need a lot of courage, it is there because you have been trained. The Lord bless you all. Goodbye.